Hi, today I'm gonna record this new screencast video. So I'm going to look at uh, how to capture RTMP using Wireshark and RTMP dump. So it's not installed here on my Macintosh, I use Homebrew to install it. So that should be pretty easy, yeah. Just a manual page. So these are the arguments we have to fill in. The URL is, uh, I have to specify this, all other are optional. But uh, most of the time you have to fill in this one, that one, and that one. And that's basically all it's to it. Okay. I open a new tab. I thought I opened a new tab. There. Switch between tabs like that. Okay. Uh, so I'm going to go to this filmarkivet.se where, where, which has old Swedish films. Just find one. So this is Christmas. I'm going to look at this one, which is pretty cool. Uh, I hope it passes. Yeah. So I start recording and then press pl play. Play. Okay, if it works, that's enough. Stop recording. So now I have to find this argument, and these are in RTMP packets. So let's see if I. RTMP and it's the handshake C2. And not that one, not that one, but this one here. So what's interesting is here. So what did I say? The R argument can be taken from this string. So let's just build the RTMP dump string here. Hmm. Hmm. R. Yeah. And as you see, it has the app string. SFX slash ST. That's the same as in the upstring here, so R can automatically figure out both the TC URL and the up from just this string here, okay? And then I said we need, you can take it in order, flash var svf URL. That's the only two from this packet that is needed. Okay, so flash var. So what was the flash for F? And the other one was S. Okay. S. Here. Yeah. So that's the flash player. Alright, and then we need uh, dash y, uh, the play path, but it's not in this packet, so it's in the play packet, so you have to have them, but I can prepare for the y argument. Uh, let's see if we find a play packet. RTMP play, here it is. So it's, uh, all that's left is to just copy this string. Here. And we're done. Just tell it what to call it. So it's an mp4 file. And here we go. It downloads the RTMP stream. So RTMP is supposed to be hard to rip. Harder than other formats. But as you can see, it's not exceptionally hard. It used to be hard because Wireshark was not so smart before. But now Wireshark is really good at decoding RTMP packets, so now it's really easy. Sometimes it begins with lower quality, so then so there's a play with a lower resolution, and then if you browse down, you can find another play 
with a higher resolution. So then you can uh, browse to the next play. And it, but in in this one, uh, the last time I did it, it does, didn't have any more play. So it it downloaded at the max resolution. The first try. But if I remember correctly, the second could, could be named play two. So just choose the one with the best resolution. And the rest, the rest uh, is uh, identical, the, the info from the C2 packet. So here we go. 100%. Yep. So it's 93 meg. Midvinternattens kölder hår Stjärnorna gnistra och glimma Alla sova i enslig gård Gott in till morgontimma Månen sänker sin tysta barn Snön lyser vit på fyr och gran Snön lyser vit på taken Endast tomten är vaken